So you can see if this were a, um, you know, doing a beer bottle cake, um, I would print out a label with the edible paper and I would paint this like a beer bottle. Um, but I wanted this clear. You aren't going to be able to see this note in here. So that's why I did a clear one. So here I have a clear cake, a clear bottle. And I know they've got a lot of bubbles in them. That has to do with uh, what they call the tear strength of this. It's, it's um, it, the, thicker the, the thicker this is, the less bubbles you have. And this is not that thick. So that's why, you know, that's why I have bubbles. I'm not going to worry about it. But what I do need to do is I need to put a cork in this because, okay, I've got my, my message. And I can stick my message in here easily enough there but what I need to do is I actually need to put a cork in it like it's a cork like a cork in a bottle so I want to make a cork out of let me get this out of the way out of fondant try not to break it can't make another one <laughs> so take a small amount of fondant And you want to dye it um, kind of a light brown, yellowy color. Let me go grab my, my colors. So here's a little bit of yellow. And all you got to do to dye it is just add a little bit of the gel color. Put this on your hands so that the, um, the fondant's kind of dry. It won't stick to me and also makes it so that the food color won't stick to my hands either. So a little bit of a yellowy, orangey, brownish color. And you can actually use your, you can use your dusts to dye your fondant, in case you didn't already know that. It's a little too much. That's okay. Let's see how it'll take the color. Okay, and then what you want to do, that's not quite the right color. Add a little orange to that. Ivory would be good. Ivory would work. Peach. I'm just going to put orange in it. That's a little better. That's more like cork color. Corks are kind of yellowy, orangey, ivory colored. I guess they're ivory, light brown. Depends on your cork. This will do. Okay. So you're going to make it a long cylinder. So make it round and then make it into a sausage. And then what you want to do is uh, corks have lots of holes and stuff in them and lines. And you know, I know that doesn't look realistic, but when you roll it, then it starts to make them smaller. Smaller imperfections like corks have. Okay, and if you look, I actually have a cork here. See how they have the small imperfections in them? This is actually not a bad looking cork. Um, and I had one I did earlier. So we'll use this one because this one's already dry. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the dark brown and dust here and there to make it like that, more like that cork. The really fake ones are what they're using nowadays as opposed to real cork. But this cork's been in the ocean. It's going to make it pretty dirty. Okay. So that's close enough. All right, let's get this out of the way.